13. We'll commence our reading at verse 24. Matthew 13. Verse 24. If you haven't seen, man. Amen. You're still looking. Say, hold on. Amen. Verse 24. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? And we just want to concentrate on verse 25. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Oh, just for a little while this morning, will you grab your neighbor by the hand and say, Good afternoon, neighbor. <laughs> Pastor Dave's going to preach about. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Sleeping. Sleeping. Don't get caught. Sleeping. Many disastrous calamities have happened while men have slept. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On September 12, 1759, in Quebec, the French headquarters in Canada was under attack by a General James Wolfe of England. And after the French repelled three attempts by the British, uh, the general thought that he had things under control. So much so that he called his friend and said, listen, we are no longer concerned about the enemy or the security of Quebec. He says, however, while men slept, while men slept, the British scaled the north wall along the St. Lawrence Seaway and early dawn, they caught the French unprepared and won the battle while men slept. Well, well, maybe, maybe you don't know history in Canada, but maybe you know some American history. Listen, around Christmas time in 1776, the fire for American independence was burning really low. Yeah, and several defeats were suffered in a row. But while men slept, General George Washington took 2,500 men across the Delaware River at Trent, New Jersey, on December 26, 1776. And while men slept after Christmas, eating, I'm sure, and rejoicing, while men slept early in the morning, General George Washington swept a victory of independence. Well, 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 while men slept, the Meds and Persians entered and conquered Babylon, and Belshazzar, the king, was slain while men slept. Well, while men have slept, many tragedies have occurred. So as I set the stage this morning, as I share the setting, as I proclaim the prerequisite of this pericope, listen, look at the, first of all, look at the essentials of this text. In verses 24 and 25, I just need to set the stage. I need to share the scenery. I need to proclaim the prerequisites of this pericope. First of all, the essentials of this text you need to know is, the first thing is, the sword that it talks about is none other than Christ. Yes, it's Christ, it's Christ, it's Christ. And listen, the good seed that it talks about in the text are true Christians. I'm just trying to set the stage because this is going to help us as we go through. But, but then, not, not only that, 
that it talks about the enemy sowing tears amongst the wheat. Or, or, or in the Greek, it, it's a word, it's a Darnell. And, and that Darnell are the fake Christians. And then the field that it talks about that he sold the tares in is equated with the world. And the enemy here, we all know the enemy, who the enemy is. The enemy is the devil. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, help me somebody. Listen, listen. These are the essentials of